Okay, in this video tutorial, I will show you how to set up and configure DNS using simple DNS Plus software. You can go to this simple, you can go to this website simpledns.com slash download.aspx. Click this link. It may take about 5-10 minutes to set it up and the version that we are using is 5.3 I have a complete version of this program I purchased that I purchased it uh, cost about 80, 70 to 80 dollars okay. but for your class assignment you do not need to purchase it since they allow you I believe for about 7 days or a week okay download the trial version one here 14 days evaluation okay download 14 days price evaluation all right uh, I have a handout here that you should check it on your blackboard it's called lesson 4 configure DNS okay and I have another document here which is the topology of the lab okay remember in the earlier assignment or labs uh, we talk about the topology of the lab exercise that we do using a uh, bricky application you have a base PC here right you're gonna name the computer name is PC 001 you substitute X with your pot number so if you want to use pot number 9 then you can name your computer PC 009 if you want to use pot number 3 you can use PC 003 so the number has to be from 1 to 9 all right so we're gonna install simple DNS here okay the IP address you're gonna put you're gonna assign 192.168.x.0.101 so again X you substitute X with your pot number you can randomly choose between 1 to 9 in my case I use 1 so for the rest of the presentation I'm gonna use 192.168.10.101 this is the data VLAN okay the data VLAN is gonna connect to the switch port number 2 remember 2, 3, and 4, we're going to assign this port as the data VLAN, and 5, 6, and 7, we're going to assign them as a voice VLAN. So, make sure you understand these topologies, uh, so it will make sense to you. On the top one is an instructor computer. I'm not going to discuss about this right now, but when we connect this WAN port, WAN port 0, which is 192.168.201.1 is going to connect to the headquarter office okay we are focusing on the bottom part of this the bottom part of this this is the bottom part of this is what we're going to do all right uh, now we're going to go to lesson four make sure you download this handout ready uh, basically the first page tell you how to disable the DNS in your window so it will not conflict thing with the DNS that you want to set up make sure you disable the services so download it and print it out all right this page the next page show you how to set it up uh, the program the first thing that we're gonna do is to set up the primary zone okay so you're gonna go to so you're gonna go to open simple DNS and then we're gonna set up a primary zone okay you go to option and then general okay type this one PC 001 dot pot one dot wickets okay if you are on pot number two you can type PC 002 
part two dot wickets okay so going back to this uh, handout that I have that I uploaded in the blackboard okay the next thing that you're gonna do is to set up the inbound request to configure the inbound request okay so you need to go to here right uh, checkbox this look back address which is 127.0.0.1 and check the IP address of your PC okay 192.168.10.101 okay uh, remember I mentioned to you earlier if you're gonna use port number two you're gonna type you're gonna assign 192 168.20.101 okay that means you are in the 20 network all right the next thing make sure you check this one the loopback address and this IP address the next we're gonna do is to do we're gonna set up the forwarding address right what is the forwarding address we're gonna go to here we're gonna go to forwarding address you're gonna go here you're gonna add okay you're gonna add you're gonna add here you're gonna add this address okay uh, you're gonna add this address 192.168.200.20 and check this enable extended forwarding what it does is actually is gonna forward to okay basically if you want to call outside of your port let's say that you're gonna dial from 1100 extension to 200 extension in another network it it has to go to the headquarters okay so in the headquarter office or the instructor computer you're gonna set up a brickiki server okay so the 192.168.200.20 is referred to the instructor computers okay all right so you're gonna add this check that one and click ok all right the next step the next one is to set up the let me see the miscellaneous right miscellaneous option on the miscellaneous option on the miscellaneous option here uh, uncheck this one uncheck the enable round robin okay and uncheck this one and un uncheck respond to bind version request and uncheck this one also limit client cache time okay all right after you finish that so after you finish that step the next thing you're gonna set up a primary zone okay so you're gonna set up a primary zone here you're gonna set up a primary zone it's called pot pot one dot wickets okay let me show you how to do that here we're gonna set up a primary zone which is here primary zone you're gonna set up a primary zone called pot one dot wicket here all right part one dot wickets so you're gonna create a, a primary zone name part one dot wickets okay if you are in part three if you want to use part three so you're gonna assign this one forward zone right click new zone and put Pot three dot wickets. All right. Uh, the next thing we're gonna set up a state of authority. Okay. 
So, what is state of authority? State of authority record is a an SOA record is stand for start of authority. Every domain must have a start of authority record at the cutoff point where the domain is delegated from its parent domain. For example, if the domain mycompany.com is delegated to DNS simple DNS server, we must include a start of authority record for the name mycompany.com in the authoritative DNS record. Here is an example. Okay, ns one dot dns simple dot com and then here you will see the here you will see the administrator the responsible party for the domain which is admin dot dns simple dot com and a timestamp this is a timestamp that changes whenever you update your domain okay and then this one is the number of second before the zone should be refreshed so you need to co configure that uh, here check this one you put pc 001pot onewickets or if you are in pot 3 you're gonna put pc 003.pot3.wickets and then you're gonna type your email address the email address of the person responsible for this zone check this refresh interval time retry interval time expire time minimum ttl and soa record ttl into one one minute and then click ok all right 